Seems Paul Silas and Tyrus Thomas had a tangle in the Bobcats locker room. And if you've ever fought your dad, you know how that one ended. It's a little bit late to save the Bobcat season, maybe even the franchise. But there are a few teams out there we think could use a Paul Silas pep talk. That's the thing, Paul, man, Paul Silas' size and Paul Silas' age, who's had enough? Can you imagine? My guess is that Paul Silas caught him with one of these right here, though. God, right there. Let's start here, come up to the wall. The Orlando Magic. Yeah, Dwight Howard, try to get Paul Silas fired. Then come put your arm around him and smile. Imagine that, Dwight Howard comes to Paul Silas. We good, coach. Hey, we good, coach. Touch me like that again, you're going to draw back a dub. <laughs> that, was, that, 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 that whole situation, if it had Paul Silas, would involve the word nub. Dub is real bad. My boy Cuss the Legend calls you Shoulder Man. They'll be calling you Snatched Up by the Shoulder Man. Have you ever had your pops give you that good harsh grab by the shoulders? Caught it one time. Wow, where'd all this strength come from? I don't ever see you lifting weights. <laughs> the Sacramento Kings. Unlike the rest of you, Silas isn't afraid of DeMarcus Cousins even a little bit. What's Cousins, 22? Paul Silas will knock his big 22-year-old ass out. I don't want no parts of my mom, neither. My mom got heavy, my mom got heavy hands, man. She the nicest woman in the world. She got heavy hands. Mm-mm, you don't want it. The Milwaukee Bucks. It probably won't be long before Brandon Jennings and Monte Ellis drive Scott Skiles crazy. Can you imagine Paul Silas trying to coach Brandon Jennings and Monte? Like, Scott Skiles, it's a matter. He's not wired for this sort of life. He can't be. You won't be driving Paul Silas crazy. He might be driving you to the hospital. The Washington Wizards, or is it the Denver Nuggets? Whichever team it is that JaVale McGee plays for now, we need somebody to keep him uh, grounded. Did they get rid of Nick Young, too? Yes. Yeah. Man, they are just... They're like, yo, we got to get so many cats out of here. <laughs> the Dallas Mavericks, where it is that Mark Cuban and Lamar Odom had a shouting match. Maybe they should have had a shoving match, or maybe just a shaking match. Good, strong shake from Coach Paul Silas. My buddy said his dad once drove from San Jose to LA because he had been getting out of line. He said he came home one night late. Like, so he walked in his bedroom, turned on the light, boom, there was his dad, who was a preacher and a Black Panther and a bodybuilder. Got him by the throat, put him on the wall, and his feet were just dangling. Formative moment in his life. And for a little more fun, here's a public service announcement to the rest of the NBA. Your coach just might have some Paul Silas in him. For example, Avery Johnson used to say he bench pressed 400 pounds. Cedric the Entertainer made fun of his voice in a movie. I don't think you should try it in practice. Give me a little Avery Johnson. If you're gonna, if you, I mean, you can't say you got a good Avery no, Johnson. No, I'm not. Because he's going to kick your ass? Well, possibly. Lionel Hollins, who I'm told comes to practice sometimes in velour sweatsuits and Kangos, looking like your uncle. Scott Skiles, he was Bob Sura before there was a Bob Sura. All Silas was doing was showing Tyrus Thomas the will to win, because I guarantee you, he wasn't going to lose that one. Will the Bobcats win one more? Can't win them all. I will tell you this though, when I was in seventh grade, I'll never forget this. These two guys going at it, it is back and forth. And one guy, one guy told the other, said, look, if you touch me, I'm gonna kick your ass, right? So that one guy was like, I'm gonna be cute about it. He hit him with the, oh, yeah, the, the And like the second he went from the space between the fabric and the skin, man, he lit his ass up. It was <laughs> something. Bop, 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 bop. Then it was, it was my water fountain. So bop, bop, bop. And the dude dropped his head down. He got, bow, got by the water. Get wet, get wet. Hit him twice in the face with the water fountain. <laughs> pulled him back up. Bop, bop, bop. Somebody had to learn a valuable lesson that day. If the man say don't touch him, don't roll the dice. Thank <laughs> you.